watching CARE 11 News with Rick Kupchella, Roxanne Battle, Belinda Jensen, and Tim McNiff. For the last seven seasons, Dennis Green has been at the helm of the Minnesota Viking ship. Last season alone, he steered the team towards 15 record-breaking wins and one heartbreaking loss at the end. Dennis Green has been named one of the top coaches in the NFL. But we really know little about him off the field. Tonight in the Extra, Care Levin's Roxanne Battle has a candid interview with Dennis Green, the family man. Away from the exhilaration of the Purple Pride, aside from the stats keepers and football fans, is Dennis Green, the family man, Stand up. the father, and most recently Green, the grandfather. Molly Mackenzie Green was born this past June to Green's oldest son, Jeremy, who works for the San Francisco 49ers. His daughter, Patty, just relocated to the Twin Cities from Phoenix. How's my boy? How's Mama's boy? Then there's the children with his second wife, Marie, two and a half year old Vanessa, an eight month old Zachary. What's this? Children the Greens look forward to raising in their newly purchased home just off the lakes in South Minneapolis. Denny being a music lover, you'll see those influences through the house. The 70 year old house has modern touches. The trapeze here, that kind of represents us during the football season, walking on a tight wire. It is spacious. This is our formal dining room, and this is where we probably spend most of the time. In the kitchen? In the kitchen. So who cooks? Denny does. Denny cooks? Oh, he's a great cook. Really? Much better than myself. This right here, Roxanne, is the best room in the house. This is where Denny spends his Sundays after the games. The Green household is as comfortable as it is child-friendly. What do you see in your children uh, that reminds you of yourself? Zachary, uh, even though he looks like me, everyone says, you said it too, he has the temperament of his mother, so he's very sweet and, and uh, very calm and, and very determined. Vanessa, we call a little coach because she will tell everybody what to do. You can do it. You can do it. She's just like him. She's just like him. <laughs> and you love it too, don't you? Well, yeah, we love it, except that every now and then we're both trying to coach. You know, you can't have two coaches at one time. She's a sweetheart. And, and of course, she, she, as I said, she's sugar and spice and everything nice, just like her mom. And, but then she's a little bit more stubborn like me. Do you see yourself as stubborn? I don't know if stubborn's the right word. Determined. Right? Determined is, is a good word. But I just worry about what she says about me. That's the only thing that counts. Determined here? <laughs> Very determined. Determined yeah. enough to get her to marry me. That's what I said. So that was, that, that was my best determined thing I've I ever thought done. of him as a big brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that nice coach. What clicked between you two? Well, whatever it was, it sure clicked. <laughs> It clicked big. I think friendship initially, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, I think, I mean, Marie's a beautiful woman. And so, you know, I mean, a lot of people are attracted to a beautiful woman. But I think that what we were attracted to first is friendship. And then I think our friendship, you know, really grew from there. And then from that point on, I think then it, it moved into a much more serious relationship where two people really loved each That's other. That's my wife, Marie. Hi, Tiger. It's a pleasure nice. to meet That's you. That's my daughter, Thank Patty. You. Denny and Marie Green say their most common bond is community. Before and since meeting each other, both have worked on behalf of charities, including the Special Olympics, the Epilepsy Foundation, and the Boys and Girls Club. Good to see you. How's it going? Next month, the Greens will serve as honorary chairs for the Boys and Girls Club annual gala, an honor the club's executive director says is befitting. Particularly with professional athletes. It's so hard to get anybody um, these days. They're so busy. Times have changed. But Denny has not. He is, he's there for us. The biggest reason that we're happy to see is because it's going to give you an opportunity to spend some time with the coaching staff of the Minnesota Vikings. Each summer for the last three years, Green has hosted a youth camp at Winter Park. Oh, excellent job. Way to go. Over three. Wait a minute. You got to say hello first. For hundreds of kids who must contend with far less and endure far more than most children could ever imagine. This is something that money can't buy. I think their self-esteem level will soar. And while it appears that Green has an amicable relationship with the local community, his relationship with the local media is a Thank different you. story. Why then the, the adversary relationship with the print media? <laughs> 
Well, because first, it's not all of them. Uh, I don't back down from anything. It's not part of my makeup. Is it better now? I, I don't know. I don't pay any attention to it, to be honest with you. Again, there's some people I've always gotten along with, uh, you know, whether it be radio, uh, whether it be TV, whether it be print. There are some people I've never gotten along with. And why wouldn't you get along with them? I, it's not even worth going into. Instead, Green prefers to focus on what he says are his priorities, faith, family, and football, in that order. Plan for this season, Coach. Well, the plan is to is to be world champions. I think everyone feels that we can climb that mountain uh, again, and this time get to the top and have success. We think that uh, we have an excellent chance to go. We got a great group of players. We have a lot of talented players. Uh, we have a players that are hungry, and that's what you need. He's hungry. Roxanne Battle, Care 11 News. As Roxanne mentioned, Dennis and Marie Green will serve as honorary chairs of the Boys and Girls Club Benefit and Minneapolis Benefit Gala on September 18th. Last year's event raised nearly three quarters of a million dollars. Well, Mayor Norm Coleman.